let's talk some NFL, all right? The schedule's coming out tonight. In fact, the NFL Thank you. is making a party out of it. Um, the Broncos are making a party out of it. They're actually going to televise it at denverbroncos.com. And I thought they were having a party somewhere. Are they having a party? Uh, they are, downtown. Where? At, uh, at a sports bar downtown. Well, you could mention it. Uptown. It's okay. I mean, Blank Street. Uptown. Is, uptown. Yeah. What do you mean? That's the What's name, the of, name it? of the place. Oh, Uptown. Yes. That's the name of the place. <laughs> I thought you were telling me it's Uptown. Uptown Tavern. Okay, my mother asked me the yeah. other day. I, that was a great question. My mother's lived here six years now. I moved out here. We're driving around, and she asked me and my daughter, which part of uh, Denver is Uptown and which part is Downtown? And I went, I don't know. <laughs> which part is Downtown? Lodo, I guess. Well, there's Lodo, which downtown. is lower downtown. Well, would you call where we are uptown? This doesn't feel like no. an uptown. Would no. anybody think this is an uptown? I don't think there is an uptown. Okay, so the NFL schedule is coming out tonight. <laughs> the NFL schedule is this coming is out tonight. Education is program. there anything, you know, you and I have been covering the NFL for, for decades. Uh, me for four decades, you for five decades. Is there anything that's ever predictable about the NFL schedule? Anything that you can think of, especially when it, when it pertains to the Broncos? Well, you, you know that on Sunday I wrote what I thought would be the perfect scenario yes. season. I read today, USA, I think it's USA Today, wrote that they believe, that the newspaper believes, that Green Bay will play at Denver for Thanksgiving. Would you like that? Really? Have would we ever like? had a Thanksgiving Day game here? Sure, Jay Cutler, I told you. Jay I don't Cutler, remember that. Cursed. Yeah, you do on the sideline against the Giants. Remember that? They played the Giants. I remember, I remember Eli the scenario. Manning. I don't remember that it was and Thanksgiving the Giants Day. And the Giants won, and Jay Cutler, Josh McDaniel said something to Jay Cutler. It was 2009. Uh, Josh McDaniel said something to Jay Cutler, and Jay Cutler went, eh, 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 F-bomb. Yeah, go blank and yourself. So people are sitting down to Thanksgiving dinner around the country, and that's what they hear. And that and game was here? Yeah. I don't remember that. Thir one. It huh. was a Thursday night, Thanksgiving. That's usually the day that yeah. Thanksgiving's on. <laughs> Here, it was a very cold night. I sat with my, uh, my uh, brother in law and, and my nephew. All right, at so, the game. so what's predictable about the Broncos schedule year, year after year? Is there They're going to play San Diego on uh, probably a Thursday night on TV. That's, they like Thursday night. I can give you some stuff. Thursday night interdivisional games, they like those because yeah. they're trying to attract attention. So I think you'll see San Diego and Denver, Phillip Rivers and Peyton Manning. I think the Pittsburgh game has a good chance of being on on a Sunday night or Monday night. The I, Green Bay I, game. I'm pretty sure that Green Bay and Denver will be Thanksgiving or something New like England. that. And New England's going to be a night All right, game. So basically so. what you're saying is, especially when, when the Broncos are good and they've got Peyton Manning at quarterback and they're playing other high-profile teams, you're going to get two or three Sunday night, Monday night games. Oh, about four. I yeah. Think. Okay. Thursday. And, and, throw in Thursday nights. And you could get a Thanksgiving uh, Thanksgiving Day game. Because they haven't played. It, uh, we used to be able to predict that the Broncos would be playing at New England at some point in the season. But that's actually being reversed this year. New England's yeah. coming here for the first time in a, in a long, long time the, uh, during the regular season. I was with the Broncos uh, in Detroit for Thanksgiving Day game. They, they've been on Thanksgiving, I think, five times. I know you don't believe everything I say, but I, I, know, I, I believe five, you five say or that. six times in yeah. their history, but they have been on in six years. And I counted the teams that have been on Thanksgiving Day since then. Shows you again, I have no life. There have been 20 other teams, including Detroit and Dallas, that have been on Thanksgiving. So it's about time for the Broncos to be back on Thanksgiving. So there was actually some reasoning behind why I said that. Yeah. And I thought they'd play uh, in Detroit because they've got to play Detroit. But Green Bay's a possibility. Who would you like to see them open with? And do you think they should open at home? Well, I, yeah, if you're a Broncos fan, you absolutely want to see them open at home. And you'd like to see them open with a... How about I, Baltimore? I, I'm not a believer. Sure, that'd be fine. With Flacco and Manning. That'd be fine. You remember what outside? they did against Baltimore last year opening at home? That was two years ago, wasn't two it? Two years ago opening at home? Seven touchdown passes. Yeah. Tying a record yeah. by Peyton Manning. Peyton well after on After everybody to gone records. berserk about the Joe Flacco banner, banner. outside. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd i find that. I, I like Oakland because hey, I, I think that's know, a robbery. San Diego's here's a possibility. The, to me, this is the perfect scenario. You start at home and you start with a relatively easy team or you start with a, a team that could be a playoff team but isn't one of the elite teams like a Baltimore and you get them at home and you beat them and you gain some confidence except, in your opening game. Except you have a new coaching staff. You're going to have a lot of, you're probably going to have 
18 new players? Maybe 20? Yeah, that's maybe. not unusual. I mean, that, you know, uh, NFL so teams do you, have Don't you want a cupcake turnover. like Nebraska has at the beginning of the schedule? You know, they always sure, play. that'd be fine, too. They play a directional school. They yeah. always play West Dakota State a, Teachers College. A home game against a team you're pretty confident you could beat. Sure, that's the perfect scenario to me. Okay, because I'm going to give you what I've heard. Thursday night game, second game. Against? San Diego. Okay. I'm all right with that. On the road. You okay with that? Um... Thursday night, road, play, Thursday night road games are so tough. Wouldn't you rather they, play? That's why they would open at home because then yeah. they have to go on the road. That's, then they get punished in game w- two. Wouldn't you rather play in San Diego in December? Remember of in my perfect scenario, oh, they're playing the last game of the season in of San course. Diego, and you go, well, that could be for all the you know all the marbles. Uh, but you want to play in San Diego yeah. in December. You don't want to play in Kansas City in December. Yeah. You want to play in Kansas City in October. Well, we'll find all this out tonight.